Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got the two uh, latest of the mystery box items you can pick up at uh, Walmart uh, that have been hitting the shelves and everything. Uh, we've got the mystery gems uh, which contain one graded card. Uh, they advertise it as having chase cards in it so they show off a couple PSA graded cards. This blue eyes and then they've got Dark Magician Girl uh, from Magician's Force and uh, Black Skull Dragon. Uh, for Metal Raiders on the back, but it seems that everyone's been getting uh, cards from Legendary Collection 1, uh, being the God cards, and then um, Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, and Dark Magician uh, from that set as well. Uh, so we'll test our luck, see if we do manage to get it, but I don't think we will. Uh, maybe we'll be the one lucky person in the world that manages to pull that off. And then we've got the mystery box uh, that has two packs and then player's choice sleeves. These are the good ones. Uh, the last batch um, was pretty difficult to get cards in, but from what people have been opening, uh, they seem to be uh, back to normal. So we'll uh, probably, probably at least makes it worth it. This one retails close to $15. These are running about $12 a piece. Uh, so eh, we probably won't really eh, get our money back on this in terms of, you know, striking even maybe, maybe around the same dollar value good for uh, getting into getting a graded card, but you know, not expecting to hit anything big. So we'll open these, mix these in here and there, see what we get, uh, see if we maybe one luck field that gets one of the PSA cards. So let's bust into this. These are advertised as having the chance to get a chase pack. Um, but again, also it seems like a lot of people are getting uh, Dark Neo Storm pretty heavily as well. So here's our sleeves. So those to the side makes those pretty good, decent deal as well. So we'll pull out, we've got Judgment of the Light as one pack and then Fusion Enforcers. Wow, that's a weak pack uh, to get in here. So let's get these open. Fusion Enforcers uh, coming in with only five cards in the uh, Pack. Ooh, a little bit light. That one hurts a bit. But we start off with a secret rare invoked Kaliga. Decent, decent pull. Forgot they put those at the front. Uh, King of the Swamp. Edge Imp Chain. Fight for Wolf. And Fusion Reserve. So. Fusion Enforcers, no, not in the first edition, but still uh, decent starting off with a secret rare, so can't can't hurt there. Judgment of the Light as well. At least we're not getting, oh, pack's already open. Uh, that's be interesting there as well. All right, starting off, we got Star Seraph Sword, Bujingi Turtle, Vertical Landing, Super Defense Robot Elephant, Confronting the Sea, The Atmosphere, XYZ Agent, and Kujaku Kujaku, Sargasu, The DD Battlefield, wraps out the pack. All right, let's see, let's get one of these boxes over here. I wanna see if I can get you a price, see if that secret rare is anything good on that. Um, while we go through that, but let's see if we get this open here. Try not to spoil the break. I think these open to the side as well. go this direction all right there we go pulled it out the right way so we got a Beckett card this is the lower level of Beckett as well so we don't have we have both Konami logos uh, and the trading card logo at the end so we know we don't have a guy card uh, so that makes us stand out rare and we've got the red eyes black dragon pulling on gym mint 10 or mint 10 seems to be that everyone else does and it's from legendary collection 
uh, which seems to be where everyone's getting them from as well. So that's par for the course uh, in terms of what people are getting. So we'll just uh, truck along, <laughs> see if any of the uh, later ones are that. At least we didn't uh, pull uh, our first of whatever 13 God cards in a row or 13 Obelisk of Tormentors. Uh, like Ruxin did in his uh, video. And we'll uh, plan and do a follow-up video on this, these cards, just kind of with the odds break down here in the future. So we've got Judgment of the Light and Fusion Enforcers again. So it looks like our Walmart or our local Walmart ended up uh, with the same, <laughs> the same set in the end or the same pack distribution. Still hoping for a uh, chase pack here. So we've got Invoked Purgatorio. I check to see if any of these cards are bent. Fluffall Penguin, Fluffall Owl, Predaplanet, not bad. And then Miracle Fertilizer. And then Judgment of the Light. Fluffall Penguin, not a bad card to get. Uh, decent super rare, holds holds its own. Market price wise. Then our second pack of Judgment of the Light, we have Bujingi Warg, Star Seraph Sword, XYZ Reception, Sargasso Lighthouse, a rare Archfiend Eris, Sargasso, the DD Battlefield, Ice Princess, Zerif Ort, and Bujingi Wolf, Umbral Oral Ghoul. Let's get into our second mystery graded card here. All right, let's see if we can find that. And, all right, well, we already know this is gonna be Obelisk the Tormentor, and we've got a Jim Mint 10, or Mint 10, sorry, they don't use the same grading scale. Get into our third mystery box. Pretty sure that the lower level of Beckett's here that we get pretty much gives everything a 10, it seems. So we've got a Judgment of the Light and Fusion Enforcers again. So our mystery box has no mystery in it. Um, not looking good. We haven't gotten a chase pack yet either. So we have invoked Elysium, Fusion Reserve, Refusion, Summoner of Illusions, and Alistair the Invoker. So overall. I mean, Alistair the Invoker is not a bad card. I mean, probably going for six, seven dollars now. Almost, uh, no. The packs were, mystery boxes were a little bit cheaper. We'd be making, making it back on those. So, decent, decent super rares. Star Seraph Scout, uh, into our third pack here of Judgment Light. Star Seraph Sword, Super Defense Robot Leo, Super Defense Robot Elephant, Moon Dance Ritual, just a rare here. Super Defense Robot Monkey, Trap Tricks, uh, Nepenthes, Sargasso the DD Battlefield, Fishborg Archer, wraps out that pack. Let's get our third graded card open. Maybe, maybe we get one of the PSA cards. You know, break from the tradition. And it's blue, so it's Obelisk the Tormentor. Oh, and it's Jim Mint 10 or Mint 10. Wow, no one saw that one coming. So we're stacking those up. Like I said, these ones, it's, everyone seems to be getting everything from Legendary Collection, and you get those God cards pretty much guaranteed in it. If you're getting into trading or getting into collecting, uh, then they might be worth, you know, getting your first slabs, but I don't think anyone's getting many PSA cards. Um, but card sleeves are worth it here. I mean, this is a where it's at. All right, let's see if we get any of our chase packs. 
We've got Fusion Enforcers and Judgment of the Light. So we didn't get any chase packs in our four mystery boxes. So that was a lie. No mystery in the mystery box. Invoked Magellanica, Lone Fire Blossom, Polymerization. That polymerization runs for like seven bucks right here, so that's not bad. Super Solar Nutrient, and Performer Pal Trump Witch. And then our last pack of Judgment of the Light. Star Seraph Scout, Super Defense Robot Elephant, Schwarzschild Limit Dragon, Super Defense Robot Leo, and Traptrix Mermelio as a rare. Traptrix Nephethes, XYZ Agent, Mecha Phantom Beast, Hair Liard, Har Liard, and Spell Recycler. Wraps out the pack. Last graded card. Do we get an Obelisk the Tormentor? Do we go three for four? Or do we manage to get something different? Let's see. And it's blue. It's Obelisk the Tormentor. Let's go. It's the best pull we've had all day, right? Well, our breakdown of these four was one red eyes, three obelisks. Uh, Pretty much, it seems like everyone's getting obelisk pretty heavily. People get, you know, a lot of the same ones. Uh, you know, are these truly mint 10? Don't know if they would get the same at PSA, but it's a tough, uh, tough call there. Uh, for 12 bucks, eh, maybe, maybe not worth it. Who knows? Um, but if you're looking to get, you know, into your first couple uh, graded cards or get into having a graded card or two, uh, probably worth it, uh, but I wouldn't stake any claim into ever coming close to getting either of those, uh, any of those PSA cards that are listed on that box. Um, and uh, we'll go into it. I've got a video in the works just explaining, uh, based on everyone else's videos that have been uploaded, just how unlikely uh, that's going to be. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but I appreciate you guys stopping in. Uh, if you want a obelisks uh you know go buy one of these packs because uh, it seems like you're going to get one of those and if you don't get obelisk you'll get slifer or raw uh there's something off with that pack there but uh all in all mystery box didn't end up being much of a mystery four packs of fusion enforcers four packs of judgment of the light and three of the same card so these were worth it i appreciate you guys stopping in subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care.